Okay, I think this is the last presentation, right? And thanks everyone for joining this presentation. And my name is Xiao Peng, and I'm a software developer at DocLaw. And my GitHub ID is H-A-N-X-I-L-O-P. And today I'm bringing the topic, Improving Istio Debugging Experience, Mirage Debug for Localized Development. And uh, basically, this is the introduction to introduce a tool that, it, that is for uh, Istio newcomers and hope there will be more developers to the Istio project after this presentation. And so what is Mirage Debug? And in one sentence, it is an open source local remote debugging tool for Kubernetes apps and you can use this tool to facilitate your localized <coughs> development. And why do we need Mirage Debug? Um, I think you guys may have, may have or will have similar experience like me. Like you want to debug Istio and uh, you try to configure some of the environmental variables and start the local Istio D and also um, you found out that there's no, no sidecar there's no sidecar is connected and you still need to configure the, um, the, pilot, the pilot agent and also uh, things like network for the existing sidecars in the cluster to make the XDS client to connect to, the, to your local STOD. And uh, maybe another approach is to like build, build your source code to an image and uh, put it into your real environment and to see if everything is working as expected. And uh, these approaches are working, but they may not be very friendly to new, user, new developers. And uh, here with Mirage Debug, we can have a seamless debugging experience that mirrors the real environment after doing some easy to set up steps and uh, uh, it also has the IDE integration. Currently, it supports the most popular IDEs like JetBrains and VS Code, and uh, uh, it also has the multi-language support. Currently, it supports Go and Rust, since this project was actually designed to debug E2D and Eternal. And here we have the architecture, and you can see we have three parts. And the first part is the Mirage itself. And the server is a background service that can manage different debugging sessions. And the client is just a command line tool that can help you interact with the server. And we have the Kubernetes clusters as the second part. And the only components involved in this um, in this Mirage is the API server and the port you want to debug. Here it is the ECOD and uh, the API server is actually is mainly doing the port forward job. And uh, we have the ID as the third part. Um, in, this, in this part we have the source code and also the local debugger. And uh, when we have initialized the debugging configuration, you will, um, Mirage Debug will, will build your source code into the binary file and then the, both the binary file and uh, the local debugger, like the DLB will be copied into the port you want to debug. And uh, after this, these two copied files will be running as separate pro processes and uh, there will be a specific port that is being opened to listen to um, requests from the debugging client. And then you can use your local IDE to connect to your uh, remote debugging server in your port. And here we have the processes running inside the ECOD. Uh, with the output from ps-ef. And uh, to summarize this, we have a headless service that is running the debugging tool and listening on a specific port to allow requests from the, debug, uh, from the debugging client. 
And also we have a Istio pilot discovery service running alongside the debugging tool. And this is to allow Istio pilot to, to be de debuggable. And uh, after these two processes, we, we are going to like debug it through the local IDE connection by using the port forward. And here we can install the Mirage debug by using go install and uh, we will cover the these three commands in the rest of the usage part. And uh, we have the init command here. You see there are maybe like many questions, but actually the only question you need to type is the first one, what is the app name? And after this, you can just like select default options and hit enter, 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 and I think then the configuration will be initialized. And uh, after we have initialized the con configuration, we can run Mirage debug config demo to do the rest of the thing. So if you config this successfully, and you can see there is a Mirage remote debug demo here, and you can start your debugging journey. And if you do not want to debug again, you can use delete command to delete the Mirage debug. Uh, and we have a quick demo here. Okay, so you can see we're gonna start the server. <coughs> and we initiate some debugging configuration. And select the default settings. And then we can use the config command to do the rest of the thing. Okay, now we can start our debugging mode. see the checkpoint over there. That's pretty simple, right? <laughs> so
So let's move on. If you didn't see it clearly, you can go to the GitHub repo to see the demo again. Okay, so we have the repo link here, and if you have any questions, you can go to the Mirage Debug repo to ask questions. And thanks everyone for joining this presentation. <laughs>